I was at DockerCon, and during the keynote, uh, the founder, uh, one of the co-founders of, of Docker, uh, really talked about how it's going to be some changes to Docker as we know it. Uh, one thing that a lot of people don't realize with Docker is that uh, it's really great for containers. It's normally the go-to uh, tool of choice for a lot of people. And many people don't understand that there's really two versions of Docker. There's Docker Corporate Edition, and uh, I should say Enterprise Edition, and also it's Docker uh, Community Edition. Me personally, I use a lot of Community Edition. Uh, it's a lot of great stuff that you can use that comes from the Enterprise Edition. Uh, but uh, personally, we just use uh, the Community Edition. So going to DockerCon, it was actually very interesting and, and um, I would say eye-opening to learn about some of the things that were happening uh, throughout the ecosystem. One big change is the introduction of Moby. Now, I'm not sure if you heard anything about Moby versus Docker. So really, uh, when you look at the two halves of Docker, the Community Edition and also the Enterprise Edition, Moby is really now becoming the Community Edition. I think that's due to the fact that there may have been a little bit of confusion when you say Docker. You really didn't know if somebody was talking about the Enterprise Edition versus the Community Edition. So uh, what's happening is they decided to make it very clear and very explicit. Uh, so we have this clear separation. Docker is really your Enterprise Edition. Moby is your Community Edition. Now, what does this mean? Uh, really, when you look at the Community Edition, it's really a feeder for the Enterprise Edition. That's still the same thing. So as opposed to Docker Community feeding Docker Enterprise, it's really now, <laughs> excuse me, Moby feeding uh, Docker. So it makes it a little bit more interesting. Uh, it really doesn't change much if you work with Docker. Uh, there were some other things that kind of came out of the conference where it's this idea of official images, and that'll be a part of uh, Docker Enterprise. A great example is like, let's say you want to run the JDK, but you want to run Oracle's JDK, but you want an approved image. Well, you can go out to GitHub or go to Docker Hub and find, you know, tons of images that are available for you, but they're written by individual maintainers. And those maintainers may decide to put in certain features, take away certain features. Sometimes when you're running uh, certain types of applications, you really don't want those concerns. You want to be able to go to a trusted source. That's where these, this whole idea of trusted images come from. So that's kind of one thing that, kind of, that came out of DockerCon that was very interesting. Hopefully that clears it up. If I find any additional information on it, I'll actually link it into the description. But if you have any questions about DockerCon or about Moby uh, versus Docker, hey, ask. Thanks. Bye.